We're Emtech, builders of QTAC fire and rescue apparatus. Follow along as we document the construction of our Type 6 demo truck build. So this truck, as we've said, is going to be an NWCG Type 6 rated truck. It's going to have a water axe B2X pump, and the manifold's all TIG welded stainless. Comes with a lot of advantages when you start putting a manifold together this way versus a, like a galvanized steel threaded manifold. Everything's put together with Victaulics, so if you did have an, a, a problem somewhere in the plumbing, whether that's a valve or, or with a, a joint, you can take the Victaulics apart and be accessing the, the pump or the problem in 30 minutes. We chose the Water Axe B2X for this build. Uh, it far exceeds Type 6 specifications. Uh, we had a BB4 on order, the Water Axe BB4, which is a, a high pressure pump. This is like a mid pressure. Max on this is 180 psi, max uh, output of 310 GPM. If you're strictly a wildland contractor, it may not make the most sense, but if you're a municipality or a volunteer and you're in the wildland urban interface, but you're gonna go on all kinds of different calls, uh, this, kind of, this pump is actually a great choice. In the end, if someone decides that they want a BB4 or a higher pressure pump, we can, we can swap that out in the truck if we need to. It's got a Kubota diesel that'll be fed by the tanks in the truck. Real easily serviceable here, the pump head. It's very smooth running, powerful pump, especially made it to the monitor. It's just, it's, it performs so well, we've been really happy with it. So uh, we're excited to get it in this truck and see how the customers that we go show this to, how they respond and, and what their input is. So as you can see, the body's out of paint. This, this plastic is gonna paint up much like a metal body. Most body shops around have painted plastic bumpers. You got a body shop nearby, you damage it. You can have it repainted fairly quickly with a standard body shop. This is a gloss red match to the chassis. We'll do some graphics on this and then it's got a textured uh, black and gray interior. The, uh, the interior on this, a lot of times we leave these gloss white. It's nice to have a little bit of depth in the interior and you're not just getting white uh, backlight everywhere you look. Uh, you'll see outside venting on this truck. This is part of an active ventilation system. This is pushing and pulling air to keep moisture down inside the, the, the body. You can look at, at up here, these will all be covered. These are the hard suction storage pipes. So hard suction comes in from the back and can be stored above. Transverse compartments, this is gonna have a 100% rollout tray, which we have, but we haven't built up the tray yet. So that's coming. Lots of adjustable storage options. So this is gonna have a tool plate and you can have uh, adjustable shelving in, in any compartment here. The reason this isn't painted back here is that's gonna be our chevron striping, and then we've got uh, powder-coated back plate here, and then of course our bumper. There's your, your hard suction storage, which will have a door that goes here. Hard suction for anybody who's watching who's not a firefighter. Uh, it's, it's just a, a place to store a pipe that when you get to a location where you have to draft water out of a pond or, or, or maybe a, a fold a pond at a scene, you take your pipe out, hook it together, hook it to your pump, and now you're drafting. Pump area, we've got the, the tank area up there. That's where the spare tire is gonna go as well. Got a beveled edge, that's kind of for, a, that's more for appearance than anything. That's just to soften the edges of the truck. Same with up here. Uh, just getting a little more design into the truck and not making a bunch of right 90s. Access panel here, again, we talked about that, but we've got access panels you can get in. Move your tools or whatever gear you have out of the way if you're a technician get in and access the pump or the, the Foam Pro 1600. Just makes it easier to work on. More adjustable shelving. And then up here, you'll see this notch here. This is for, uh, because we have a DEF tank and we've got a DEF tank hose that we have to, DEF, uh, diesel exhaust fluid. But we've got to route that up over here. And then this one, this these brackets here are, um, they're just kind of a, a fun thing we're doing. We're mounting an electrical panel here. You'll have 110, you'll have USB chargers. And, uh, and just some different things that you don't typically see in a truck. This is Buck, Buck Stop's extended bumper. Uh, it's, it's just a little bit longer than the, the standard bumper that we get. 
and it came unfinished because we're adding a light bar to it. So we're adding another bracket and a light bar. We'll have a, a, a Warren winch, 12,000 pound Warren winch up front, as well as uh, 25 feet of pre-connect, so flat lay pre-connect on a gated valve. We'll have a brush hawk monitor right here, which will be controlled from the cab. And then also um, bumper sweeps on both sides. So this is about as overkill as a bumper can be on a Type 6 truck. Uh, it's got everything on it. But that's what we want to do. We want to throw everything at it, and then if you don't like it, you can take it off. If somebody wants the truck and they don't want the monitor, we can easily take that apart and cap the, the, uh, the fitting. This truck looks a little funny right now because it's got the super singles on the rear and it's got the stocks on the front, so it's got this stink bug look. You might be wondering if you see it in pickup shots why that is. It, it's simple. We've got some new fender flares that we're getting from Buckstop and they're not here yet. So we started the conversion and then really thought we shouldn't be cutting out the fenders because you've got to cut out the fender a little bit in order to, to make room for the tire. And until we have that fender flare, it's just way too much guesswork to be cutting into a, a $70,000 truck without knowing exactly where you need to do, do that. So for now, we've got this awesome looking vehicle being driven around the lot and uh, hopefully those are going to show up today the fender flares and we'll get the front end converted and, and done if you like what you see follow along give us a subscribe that'd be great if you have questions you want to know specifics about the build that maybe we're not going into comment let us know and we'll see if we can get to those maybe in a future video where we'll, we'll zero in on specific parts of it and explain it in better detail so uh, thanks for following along we appreciate it we're hoping people are getting something out of this, so let us know and, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.